Hello guys, and I'm going to be doing a um, an updated tutorial for my how to do Super Mario World ROM hacks because I've just gotten a lot of questions and I realized that the way I did it was kind of outdated. Um, it's not necessarily the best way to do it, so um, instead I'm going to kind of show you a, another way that will actually kind of get around some of the pitfalls. Um, but first, let me go through what you're going to need to make this a little bit quicker. Um, is that you're going to need Super Mario World ROM. Um, I can't tell you where to get that, but pretty much you need an American version. So uh, just search for a Super Mario World uh, US ROM. Um, <clears throat> there's not None of these patches are made for any version other than the American version of the ROM, so you need to make sure that it is a US version. And of course, you need to make sure it's SMC as the file extension on here, and not SFC. Um, you're going to need an emulator. I suggest ZSNES. I have it pulled up here. Um, you can get it on Emulator Zone, or you can go to ZSNES's uh, direct website and download it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, they haven't updated it in years, and they probably won't ever make another update, so... Uh, it doesn't really matter where you get it, as long as it's a reputable site. Um, and then, next, you will need um, the patching uh, application, which is called Floating IPS. You can get it from Super Mario World Central, which I'll put a link in the description. Um, and this is what it'll look like after you extract it. And then lastly, you'll need an actual IPS file from their website from Super Mario World Central or wherever and this is what you're going to use to patch the ROM that you have right here. So, um, once you've downloaded your emulator and you've gotten a ROM, um, the first thing you'll have to do is go over to Tools from here. Um, I will put a direct link, but just in case something changes with the link, you get it from going to Tools on the side. And then you scroll down, and you're looking for a link called Floating IPS, which is right here. Um, and then just hit Download. That's where you get that from. And then the actual hacks, you click on Super Mario World hacks over here. You can choose from here. You can go to Show Waiting Files if you wanted to, but pretty much just like click on any of these and just hit Download, and you'll get a zip file with the patch in it. Um, so, at this point, let me open up my other file. It's my main ROM folder. Um, so, once you have all that, the best way to do it is go into floating, uh, open up flips.exe, you'll get this tiny little guy that pops up. Um, you want to hit apply patch, and from here you need to navigate to the folder that you saved the... Um, the hack that you downloaded. For me, I just downloaded a hack previously. Um, but it'll either be .ips, which is the most common. I've also seen .bps, which is where this definitely screws up. And it even says down here, all supported patches is IPS and BPS. So those are the two types of... Um, excuse me. Um, those are the two types of patches that are supported. So you just want to open this up. It will then ask you for a clean ROM file. Um, so this is a ROM file that has not been patched. So this is what this guy is. The unpatched one are always 5.13. Now listen, this is where I'm going to tell you. Many people commented saying they got checksum fail. What that means is that you either didn't have a clean ROM, you didn't have the proper version of the ROM, or you just had a ROM that was either the wrong file type or something was wrong with it. You did not get an American version that was .SMC and was 513 kilobytes in the size. If all of these conditions are not met and you try to patch an incorrect file, you're going to get a checksum fail. So if you get a checksum fail, please try to search and find the proper version of the ROM first. Only really go forward with it if 
you've realized that you are using a clean ROM and it still doesn't work, but like nine times out of ten, this means that it's wrong, like in terms of the ROM you got. If it's actually the patch file, they will, the moderators would have taken it from their website at this point. So once you open this, what it will do is you can then save the hacked version of the ROM. So I'm just going to save it back into this folder and hit save. And if you do all those steps, it'll say the patch was applied successfully. Now, if it didn't work, I'm assuming this will tell you beforehand if you have an incorrect version or whatever. But anyways, you'll see that I have one SMDW demo, and the size of it is about 2 megabytes. So let me real quick navigate to my emulator, and I'll open it up. And if I hit load, uh, let's see. God. Let's go to desktop. Oh, I went to the wrong one. I should have definitely done this beforehand, but oh well. And then go to SMDW demo and open up the file we just patched. And look at that. It's a patched file. So, as you can see, it works, it's not broken, and with that, it is a functioning ROM. So, I'm going to leave it here. Um, just to kind of recap, you need an emulator, a clean version of the ROM, you need floating IPS, and then you need a patch to apply, and then all you have to do is open up the patching software, open up the patch, open up the clean ROM, and then save the patched ROM. And that's it. So, um, obviously if you have any questions, please please let me know. But uh, try, to, try to always Google things first, you know. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.